Yeah, yeah, we're in the building. We got Swan and Only in the building with us. Um, artist, rapper. What do you go by? What, what, what's what? Like when people ask you, like, raw, what do you do? Like, what do you tell them? Rapper. Just straight rapper. Rapper. How long you been doing that for? Bro, I've been in entertainment for seventeen years. Bro, how old are you? I'm 23. Swear, the man said 17 so years. He's on a Michael Jackson thing. <laughs> <laughs> Groom my dad, my dad had man, my dad had man on the stage <laughs> from <was> young. <laughs> yeah, bro, but um, what yeah. did you start doing then before rap? I was well, I was in theater in it. Okay, that was like my thing. So I was doing like theater shows. I had an agent, so I was doing like films, like short films cool, music cool. videos like just bare different things in it um yeah man but i really i've been doing rap music for since i was 13. since you was 13. so for coming 10 years that's mad when you're you 10 years it, deep and you're 23. that's uh, crazy isn't it? that's brazy still because yeah. man bro there's a lot of man that like jumped on this thing in covid <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. like they're new to this so you got some like you got your feet you got your feet wet, you get what I'm saying? You've yeah. been doing this thing for a while. So. I say I've been releasing since 16. Okay. Yeah, so when I got to 16, I was like trying to take it serious, you feel mm. me? Because before that, it was just in the yeah. playground, you feel me? Like Rapid, just writing yeah. bars, spitting to the man them, yeah. seeing how everyone feels about it. It was only till I got to 16 when I said, you know what, let me just try. Start putting stuff on SoundCloud. Like, I used to do old school hip hop, innit? So I used to do rap over Biggie beats, Tupac beats. Man, love that shit. I tried to start, cause I thought, you know what? I knew what was going on. At that time, it was grime was popping. Yeah. When I was 16, it was grime. But I did grime as well. But I thought, let me try and start from where it actually started, where yeah, hip hop started. Origin. Let me take it from the roots and then build from there. So yeah, it was grime. And then obviously, even when I was in school, that's when 6, 7 came out. Drill started becoming a thing. Yeah. So I started trying to adopt the grime flow to drill and then just taking it from there, did, really. Did you watch Channel U? Yeah, I did. You did. I did. Girl, girl, you, girl, that's kind of art. That's <laughs> yeah, kind of art age group, like late twenties, early thirties. Yeah. So you was on channel you and yeah, that. Yeah, older cousins and that. You know what I mean? Bro, we'll be running it. You know, man came, man came across uh, a page here on the gram. Do you watch channel you in it? Yeah. Man come across a page cool. on the gram, and they had like bare old like grime mm. shit that man used to listen to, and I just used. And I was thinking, right, like they've tagged a few of the people, innit? Yeah. So man's checking off on these people, like, right, I used to know, I used to bang this tune, like. So man's checking off on the some people, like gone. some of them, some of them are still doing music, like yeah. up in age, like late thirties yeah, yeah. and that. And then some of them obviously taking well, music. You know, what man's realised now, music's timeless. Cause I remember I used to think like rappers are gonna get old, but then they just adapt still. Some of them, Give and some of them age, can't. No, I don't know. I rap. used to though. Mm. I used to as a kid. I used to think you can't be thirty rapping. But like, what? what? I swear, Krebs even got a song where he's like, something, something. You man are all thirty. I don't know. He's got it's a, a young bar, man sport. But he's like gone thirty now, still rapping. Do you get yeah, what I'm trying to say? It's a young man. So I think sport, you just though. adapt, and I think you realize I, I was chatting shit. <laughs> like I weren't really. Do you think it's something new though that being able to continue rapping out. I think day. over here, 100%. I think over here, yeah. Come on, 50 cents, um, 50 cent? Yeah, even 50 cent, but Jay-Z and that's what, 50? In America, them man's yeah. been doing it, doing bro. You could be in your 40s rapping, but over here, it's like, bro, once you turn 30, you're done. Yeah, that's how it used to look you're like. You're finished, still. Still. <laughs> So you got like seven years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you used to look like. <laughs> nah, nah, this forever. Nah, nah, you're calm, still. I think now there's but longevity like now, in the game. But well, the game's changed, didn't it? And now we got like, older in the scene. Yeah. So we got Giggses, the Skeptors. Yeah. These men are the old heads in the scene. You get what I'm saying? And they're kind of like stewarding the young uns. But what was interesting, yeah, to see when I was running through this um, channel U page, yeah, my must have clicked on one old like female rapper called Lady Sovereign, did it? Oh, you yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, of course. And um, yeah, my must have like clicked on her page and I was like, bro, I remember like, man, you should know this girl's lyrics and yeah. then things there. And then I was scrolling and then I seen like, I remembered like she was signed to Def Jam and shit. She went over to America, this like, she's a white girl, yeah, mm. that raps. I think she's from like East London or something as well. And um, she was doing like well at the time in the grime scene, probably like 03, 04, 2003, 2004, them times there. She was doing so well over here that like she got 
kind of like scouted, if you will. Yeah. And like she signed to Def Jam. She's got pictures with like Pharrell, Jay Z. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's like now, obviously, no disrespect. I don't know what she's doing now in it, but it doesn't look like she's doing music. You know, Smado, them people there normally go behind the scenes. And like you said, man, just don't know what they're doing. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. saying, But as in, they're not the forefront no more. I know, like, they become like, like, if you ever, you know, like when you go to the end of a song, have you ever looked at, like, who writes the song? No. It's not the person who, like, sings the song, bare of the times. Especially, I'm talking about, like, not rappers, like, Beyonce's and fucking, you know, your big artists. Like, if you look at the songwriter, it's not Beyonce. I swear, like, not Cheryl Cole. Someone wrote a song for Beyonce. I was thinking, Bare people people write for them. Fucking hell. That's Mm. mad, like, that song is way bigger than you and you actually an artist yourself. I'm not saying if you sung a song, you could have done it, but do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It's mad how it works. But oh, it's like writer's credits, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. like to the point, like when I checked like her stuff and like, I think at the time she must have been like maybe 17, 18, 19 mm. and she got signed, yeah? It's like for her, as a musician, yeah? Like your whole, I don't know, like what your dreams or goals are. It used music, to be to be it? sad, but, but now you can be independent. It was to like get a record deal, mm. to like sell out shows. Hey, and at like 18, yeah, times has changed. she was doing that. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So like when you're here at 18, it's like at 28, because you're still kind of young at 28. I'm saying that because I'm 28. Isn't it? <laughs> like at like 28, like you're still kind of young. But it's like when you've been here, and then it's like, obviously, ten years later, you're you've not done the your time. Anymore. It's like, it's it's hard to kind of reach those heights when you've already reached them. Do you have any like goals in your head about like what you want to do and accomplish? A lot. Is it? A lot. What are some of those things like some of the near or short term goals that you like have in your head? The short term goals, um, is to first get people's attention. Yeah. Because we live in an attention economy right now. Right. attention based society so you don't have a choice you have to get people's attention to listen to your music in it yeah, yeah. so that's like the short-term goal is to get people's attention in terms of the long term though is to make something significant that can live yeah we don't want to just come and just oh we've just planted our feet for a minute we've we've done one or two things and then we're settling we're comfortable mm. like I've, i i see the game as like there's levels and heights of course and really we want to aim if we're going to how how I've been taught from young, like through the older males in my life and just the older people in my life, especially family, is like if you're gonna do something, do it all the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't just do it to just be comfortable or just do this level of it. Try hit the highest you can possibly hit. Cause why not? It's one life, isn't it? Yeah. yeah so no, I agree. And even if like I'm not saying you wanna fail, but if you yeah. fail going for the top, you know, you land what's that saying? Reach for the and land on the moon. Yeah, whatever it is. You know what I mean? So it makes sense still. It's the only way you can approach it. Yeah. I wonder where someone like English Frank is though. English Frank, see what I'm saying. I saw saying. a video of him the other day as well. What? Is a recent it? Yeah. One. On Insta. A recent one or yeah. like a no, old no, still old old thing. The SVTV. Man yeah, can't yeah, find yeah, them. Classic. Classic. Man can't find the them. Brown man jacket. Again. Yeah, classic. Right, that was a classic yeah. still. <laughs> classic. Man can't find F64s, you know. Cold. I used to dream to be on that, you know. Yeah. When I was a kid, I used to see that. That was like, if you get on there, you've made it's a it. Pioneer thing. You've yeah, done yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Pinnacle, so yeah, yeah. you've hit the, the highest heights. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad how that works, isn't it? Yeah. Like you see certain things and think that's that's a goal. Like or not, a, not saying it's not a goal, but that's the be all and end all. Yeah. When really all of them man on there, probably if you ask them that like, how much you make off that, they'll say, bro, nothing. I paid your mouth for that. <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like yeah, I had to yeah, pay yeah. for that. Yeah. So it's mad. I think it was the times as well. Yeah, of course. Because I remember back in my when I was younger, if you got 50 k views on your thing yeah, it was up yeah, yeah. Mm. in the end if you got 100k on your video yeah, 100k YouTube, was mad it was mad bro you've made it bro back was then mad. like bro, bro i remember tracks ringing off and they only had like bro i was gonna say that have that. you gone on youtube like a sneak bro political p wave like us now on the views yeah. on it bro it's not even a mill swear that's on. mad because that had that's everyone in the weird. headlock like there's songs that man will go back and say bro that was man's whole childhood or at least a good part of man's childhood they and they're not even on a mill. And then you go on YouTube now, no disrespect, but you're going like Grime Daily, you could just randomly pick like the fourth video or have like two mills, you get what I'm trying to say? And man, mm. I might not even know the artist's name. Yeah, nice. No, <laughs> you get what I'm trying still. to say? Media's a bigger thing. Well, 100%, like man can attract stuff now. Like you said, getting people's attention is yeah, it's valuable. Key. It's valuable still. Seeing as you've been doing this since you were how old, you said? 13. Like 13. Obviously, you're 23 now. And 
I'm sure you're gonna want to do music. Obviously, with this music thing, I feel like you have to really like love it. Do you get what I'm saying? Cause people, they do it for a bit, they enjoy it for that summer or that moment they're doing it. They make a few tracks that their brethren and that like, and then after it's like when it starts getting a bit tough, or it's like there's time to it's time to like grind and put in like or make a tape or make, yeah. you get what I'm saying. But once it starts getting hard and there's challenges, you. St- you start to see people kind of falling off it. Like, how do you feel like you're gonna take it to those kind of places where you're like up in age, still doing music? Or how how do you plan to like still stay in love with the process? That's literally it, you just said it. It's the process. A lot of men don't love the process. Yeah. If you don't love the process, you won't won't last long in it. That's literally it. if you was kicking ball and you just like scoring the goals, but you don't like the training, you don't like anything else, you don't like having to get the business sorted, you don't like to meet people, you don't like to listen to your, your manager or listen to your team. Yeah. Or be a team player, mm. then you ain't gonna it's last long. Yeah, I hear that still. Like, I feel like it's the team is the m- is one of the most important things. Like my team right now, it's a great team. Mm. You know what I mean, I got my DJ Drew, I got Darren in the building. Um, Come on. You know what I mean? Life, My life. producer, TC, and there's a few other people in uh, as well that's a part of the thing, but it's really, we kind of count on each other yeah, in yeah. this process. Like, if one of us is catching slack, we pick it up for each other. Mm. And that's like one of the main things that's going to allow us to keep maneuvering any space we want to enter. If we want to do an international space, we, it's us lot we have to depend on to keep our minds straight, you know what I mean? Yeah. Through those phases and through the processes. I think that's that's something that a lot of people don't have though, because usually when you hear man like, oh yeah, man's gonna start rapping, it's just like one of their boys just told them they're cold and then they just started. But there's not really any, there's, there's no, no one around there's them. No that's conviction. Like, you get what I'm saying? I think it's, it's a just a thing. To start though. Yeah, you have to. You've got to start somewhere, yeah. innit? You've got yeah. to start somewhere. So when did when you started? Like, what was your f- like when you first like you said you was in the playground, you dropped that whatever freestyle whatever. What made you think from there this can go to a studio? Was it the reaction of the people? Was it you just listening to it thinking, yeah, this is hard myself? Like, what made you think, fuck it, I'm going to go from this playground, get in the booth? I think it's just seeing it on TV. Like, seeing Gets, seeing all these men doing it. Okay, cool. I yeah, just man. never had a doubt that I couldn't do it. I, yeah, yeah. I just thought, if they, they can do it and they just live around the corner, they're from the ends, yeah, I yeah. could do it too, you know what I mean? So, shout out to them, man, as well, man. Yeah, yeah. Them, man, Talk about that, that's, e- that's East London, because... Obviously, man's from South, innit? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, like, from East, us, yeah. us man would have had, like... divided, fam. Well, when you t- talk to East London brothers about music, like, you, man, always mention, like, the, pioneers. the, 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 the like, pioneers from yeah. East, innit? But, like, I feel bro, like they're more united South as well. brothers never mentioned yeah. the East <laughs> No, man don't even mention each other. <laughs> yeah, man won't never. even mention the man around the corner. <laughs> never, <laughs> you know what? Bro. We see these men as well. Yeah. It's not like their distances away, but we see them. In the ends, like we see them in the barber shop, we see them yeah. in the in the Caribbean restaurant. We're like, oh, yo, we saying double, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. So it's like if you see a man, man touchable, yeah, like, and thing. then you pause, see him on pause. on the screen doing it and striving with it. You see a man at the festival <laughs> doing big things. It's like I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why that. can't I? <laughs> yeah. Who, who's your Who's your favorite rapper from East London? From East London, yeah, gets. I say gets. Is it? I I, 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 love, I love everyone. I love Kano's thing. I love you know what I mean. But gets for me. Lyric, lyrically also his cadences yeah, the way yeah. he, he's able to manipulate his voice it's like an american my my lack my lack ability for him on, on the american side is kendrick okay Did you get what i'm saying because yeah. the way he can manipulate his vocals and be lyrical and have especially his last album for me i loved his last album in it the conflict of interest okay just the, the songs on there the content that's my gym album can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's my gym album, man. I run that from the start. I don't know finish. if I can listen to Gets in the Gym, you know. Yeah. I don't know if that that, that might be too energetic for man. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You can get my amp, though. You can get my amp. Do you it listen is. to that microwave music? You see microwave music? What can I call microwave music? Like, like, like Uzi. Uzi work. <laughs> nah. That's Uzi work's got a good catalog of Uzi, work, bro. Uzi, Uzi's lit. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but people nah say 6 9 like, is that microwave music, man. Yeah, no, I hear it. I hear <laughs> it still. Yeah. And you flip in. I don't know who you are still. Do you listen to American stuff as well? Yeah, I listen to everything. Man. Mm. You, for me, music's music, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a preference. It's just whatever touches. Fucking what do you, what do you think about them kind of rappers like Six Nine? Your 
like that kind of rap little pumps and then man oh there. yeah little pumps yeah <laughs> it's entertaining yeah, yeah i hear that still it? it's entertaining do you mess with the music though mm. musically no yeah it depends who which person we're specifically talking about. Okay. See for me, yeah, six nine is just on an entertainment thing still. People be on me, but he's got some bangers. Yeah, though. old school. Before he obviously well, man's not from the roots anyway, so I'm he's, I'm a uh, taxpayer. So he's not a snitch to me. <laughs> 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 oh, if I get punched up, man's calling nine nine nine. You know what I'm saying? Quickly. But for me, he was actually cold. Who's 6 9 Yeah. That's what I thought. I, I thought, thought obviously, was the Magnus, mad. he was actually cold still. He was, isn't it? But then he was saying the N-word way too much, man. <laughs> no, nah, they, they do that, though. Nah, the they allow that. that. They like, do that. Oh, uh, my man does that as well, innit? Um, yeah. Fat Joe. Yeah, lean, lean back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does that as well, innit? They he bangs do. it. I saw an interview the other day, he said he's going to stop saying it, but he's been banging it still. Yeah, no, nah, that's in their voca- vocabulary. Need to cut All the Mexicans still. over there say it still. Yeah, what do you man think about East London rap? Um... Do you know what? To be fair... You're some East London. Say some names. Wait, wait, because I want to not get this wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For Huss. Oh, cold, cold, cold. Huss is cold, obviously. For Kano. Don't listen to Kano still. Yeah. Top cold. Boy, though, cold, isn't it? Kano's cold. Top I Boy, too. I don't Acting really listen thing. to Kano either, but he's cold. You know what it is? I don't listen to music. See me, yeah. I don't listen to music that's too... Um, Grimy. No, no, no. Too much sense. See, when I listen to music, I want to <laughs> escape. You get what I'm trying to say? Escape from reality. So you see yeah. when man's talking the real, I talk about like the struggle and that. I'm not trying to hear that, man. Turn that off, I man. I hear it. See, he gets and that when they're talking about, I'm retro. It's retro from East. No, uh, but you see his music. It's cold sometimes, but I'm not trying to hear man tell me like man's come from one place and now man's come to another place. Just give me some tea on Wayne, innit? <laughs> just get me. Just gas man up quickly. Like that's where I've just amp me up and I then I'm a, steady. <laughs> I think I've found a, a kind of a niche to cater for both of those things. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean, like I had a song, I have a song out called Newham. You know what I mean? And it's about Newham. Yeah, yeah. I heard that one. It's I like it as well. It's a little vibe, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. It's a vibe. But also, I'm saying some stuff in it. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I'm really talking about what Newham stuff, is. Yeah, yeah. So everyone, so everyone from Newham can understand that. And that like anyone that's not from Newham can get insight yeah, onto it. what Newham is and kind of really feel it. Cause I even made a beat for it as well, so you produced it yeah, yourself. Oh, yeah, cool. that's sick. Yeah, like I had the idea. I want to make a song for the ends, yeah. for the people in the ends. That mm. was really my main goal. Is like I want to walk down the street and the kids that's in Saint Can John's relate. uniform can yeah. say, "Yo, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean?" And they did that. Yeah, Literally, yeah, like yeah. a big group of kids from school just shouting that, "You yeah, know what I mean?" Yeah. So I achieved it. But I sat there and I looked at the. I was look, looking outside, looking at the block, and just thinking, "Yo, how can I make?" A song that sounds like the way this block looks. Yeah, I get you know what you mean. mean. Mm. Make it relatable. Yeah, like so. Anyone that's from here can say, "Yo, like I can really put this in my ear and really feel what the ends is." So I feel like there's a lot of songs out there for different ends as well. Like especially in America, you've got these different songs, Brooklyn and this yeah. and that. In the UK, Crap. there's not too many. You know what I mean? For, for the, people yeah. for their for their own, their own place places, where they're from. Yeah. So mm. do you think you're in East there? Yeah, like there's been men. This is a random question, but. You know why I asked that? Every time I go there, yeah. Oh, there's been men. Did you say there is there been yeah. men? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. No, every time I go there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 brother. Trying to yeah. say the men's is dirty. <laughs> Not dirty, but you know what I'm trying to say. You, you oh, see no. it, innit? <laughs> you see that, innit? The been men are striking, see what I'm saying? <laughs> man's telling me, yeah. no, no, the ends is calm. All ends has got blocks in it, so it's not a blocks thing. It's just like, what's that long road? I ain't been new. Why, is it why, What's that long road? Oh. In Newham? No, no, no. It's oh, just in oh. East, though. It leads to East. It's even kind of central. But it's a long road. go from road. Shoreditch. Yeah, is it White? Not White Chapel. Is it White Chapel? Com- are you talking about commercial road? It, it's kind of, I don't know. It's got an underground station on it, though. But you see that road, bro? I might be talking about where the Mile End Road is. Is there football pitches around there? Yeah. I think it is. Man, play football there one time. I yeah, it is. I say, yeah, this road well, ain't, rubbish on ain't the been clean like still for time. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> for time. <laughs> see East. East is on a budget. Yeah, I swear, bro. I swear East, have East the, is at least 15. They have the water cut out. Yeah, 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 yeah. East, it? East is oh, at least yeah, 15 right. years behind civilization. You know that, innit? Hey, allow us, bro. It is at yeah. least 15 years behind <laughs> civilization. That's why man's rapping, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, no. You know what's mad? <laughs> Inside the yard might be calm, and that, like, you get me? I'm sure you're going to have nice areas in East. Canary Wolf's in East. Canary Wolf, that right. counts. But uh-huh. you see, like, Newham, and <laughs> Newham. when I was younger, man, I used to know this yeah, girl from Plowstow. That's Where? East East, is it isn't it? What's it called? That's probably said it. Plasto. Right. Yeah. So that's my side. Yeah. <laughs> see? See that area there? Plasto. It's Plasto. 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 
Class, you get <laughs> see that area there? Class, no, no, man's not going to say nothing mad about it because it seemed kind of sticky, you get me? <laughs> man's not trying to say nothing crazy about that area, but see when I was around there? So it's time to go home still <laughs> before it gets dark. Kind of like Cinderella fan. When the clock hit a certain time, that time I was oh, young God. as well, I was getting TFL. I said, I'm getting on this train safely, Rude Boy. Well, plus, it's a crazy, it been a crazy place, yeah, bro. Yeah, it was techie, <laughs> it was techie. Yeah, man, don't really, man hasn't really moved around East. Uh, I went Shoreditch, I went Shoreditch like Westfield once. I won't be going back. Yeah. Shoreditch what? Stratford, you mean? Uh, Shoreditch, no, Stratford. fucking no. Stratford, yeah, sorry, my bad. Stratford, Westfield. No, Stratford, Westfield's all no, right, bro. Oh, that is... You know, I went on a day West Ham was playing. Mistake. It's not all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mistake. It's crowded. Right. It gets crowded. Mistake, bro. When West Ham is playing, it's crowded, bro. Mistake. Because mm. obviously the stadium's right next, next to West Ham. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mistake. It used to be different, though, because yeah. the stadium was in Upton Park. So it was that like, closer to me. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so the pubs used to be rampant. Oh, I can imagine. Imagine yeah. when match yeah. day got off. Yeah. You see them West Ham fans as well, oh, the ultras. Bro. Them West Ham fans got, I'm a West Ham got fan. history. Oh, you? He's just saying that because he's local, man. You actually know I mean? <laughs> got West Ham? Yeah. Okay. I like, when I was younger, like, when, when the pubs used to be packed out, we used to go around and shout Millwall when they used to chase us. Shout Millwall when they used to chase us, man. Fam, Mad. West Ham fans are the old. You see them ultra fans, fam. Ultra football fans. I feel like East has them as well. Yeah. Them, them East clubs, them late and Orients and that. That's around East, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Them West Ham teams. See them teams there. You don't the really want to be. Teams. Yeah, you don't want to be messing with them type of fans still. I feel like you us in East, we're just energetic about yeah. whatever we're passionate, we're involved. See when a man's energetic. got a tattoo of his football club on him. Different. Yeah. Man, don't even ask him about that club still. <laughs> Sometimes man just keep it calm. He yeah. don't even know don't, what he's gonna say. Don't even talk to him. Yeah, man, yeah. Especially lost. if man's club's not doing well. <laughs> it's techie still. Mm. But no, nah, bring it back to the East artist. Man, listens to that's my type of music still. J Huss. Yeah. That's yeah. where man's like. I like the. He's he, not really a East. Like, why not? Nah, obviously he's from there. But so what is he doing? If you listen to his music, yeah. Now when he's you influenced by East, though. No, nah, but when you listen to Gets and you listen, I know to what you Kane mean. You're saying, saying he's more Afro swing kind of. Yeah, it's not really. Like you don't really he- hear East London in his music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? No, because that's that's subjective to you. He might hear it and hear like something because man sees it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Man's from there. Like who's the South man that you can tell he's from South, but like I don't know, man. I don't really listen to music like that. But let's just take Tion Wayne for example. Yeah, see the way he raps here, yeah? mm. and he's always mentioning the nine, and he might be making references to thing in the nine. Yeah. Yeah. A man from North or wherever he's from might be like raw. They might not necessarily say like he's the lyrically the best, but they might be like, because he's talking about man's bits. Yeah. I'm fucking with it. But he's not making like rap rap. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So Jay Huss ain't making like grime East music, but he's influenced from where he's from, innit? No, nah, he would be. I don't course. even know if you could say East music is just grime though. No, I'm not. I know, but I think that's yeah. what he's saying. He's saying like when you listen to Getting oh, yeah, yeah, that, no, you can mean. really hear that. Man, East London East, slang. Yeah, that. the slang in that. I'm saying. saying He's still influenced. Like, bro, I used to fuck with... Is Young Vane from East? No, he might not be still. Yeah. No, oh, he, is. He, he might yeah, be. I used to fuck with him heavy still. Vane's he's cold. On, yeah, he's on, he's on a sabbatical, man. I don't hear from him, but... Yeah. God I used to fuck with Young Vane heavy still. Bro, you see how, like, when man asks you, like, raw, when people ask you, like, what do you refer to yourself as? Because some, some people say, like, like, or they want to be... They don't really like the term rapper. Like, no one, like... You know the ones there? Like, certain they people label ask themselves them and that. they're like, oh, yeah, I'm not a rapper. Yeah. Like, call me a... I bet people say that. Bet people say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or artist, or you get what I'm saying, or a musician, or whatever. You get what I'm saying. But when you said rapper, yeah, obviously there's certain like uh, perceptions that come along with like being a rapper. Do you feel like the whole rapper like connotation is like? Do you embody that? Like you saying, yeah, I'm a rapper, and I just want to be a rapper, and that's it. Or I'm a rapper that sings. Okay, but I'm a rapper at first. Yeah, and then but yeah, people say that innit? I'm not a rapper though. Like people even rap that in their rap lyrics. Yeah, like I'm like yeah, because because there <laughs> That's are mad. There you're are rapping, like, but you're saying I'm not a rapper. There are like there would be like negative connotations, I guess, that come with like the label. Like, no, I think it's the boxing thing. I think it's the when I say really? boxing, I mean putting you in a box, isn't it? I think people feel like that for whatever reason, whether it's like self conscious. Like, oh, you're calling me a rapper. Like, some people are like, you you want to tell me what I am. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, though. I'm not a rapper, but I'm, I think that's maybe where it might come from. I don't know, though. I think I just know who I am. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I know what I can do. So, I, at the moment, I'll say I'm a rapper that sings, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you I hear that me? still. I hear so that. Just run like that. Mm. If I'm Makes rapping sense. and I'm singing, I'm a rapper that sings, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
I hear that. Would you say, what, why, why are you not a singer that raps then? <laughs> that's true still. Yeah, I'm saying. The slow head turn as well. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. saying. I felt like that was, yeah. you get me I now. I think it's because I started rapping first. Yeah. yeah. That's why, in it? Literally, rapping was my forte to rap, brought my love for music. I hear that. If it wasn't for rap, I wouldn't have even been connected with music singing, probably yeah, the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I have always heard singing. Like the first song I ever knew was a, was a, was a country song. It was like my granddad had this tape and he had a country song on it. Mm. And I must have been like four. And he told me a story. I can't recollect it because yeah. I was four. But he said he used to play this song. It was a country record. And he said by the second time he played it, I knew all the lyrics. And I only just started speaking English. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you get my passion was already always there spiritually, but consciously it was through rap, rap in it. Because yeah. that reflected the reality I was living in. Mm. You know what I mean? 50 Cent, you know what I mean? Even seeing Tupac and all these people on TV, on MTV, and all these type of videos, and, you know, Lil Wayne and all Connected of this, and then Channel them. AKA and Channel U and everything. It was just a reflection of what I was really living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Connected with You know what I mean? Yeah. I saw the blocks on TV. That was right next to me. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got I heard the words man, that still. I was living, so it was like that music was the music that really actually connected. You know what I mean? I hear yeah, you. Still. You just mentioned some like American rappers. Obviously, we know what happened to Tupac. Right now in America, I feel like there's like a serious problem with like rappers getting targeted. You feel what I'm saying? Like in a negatively. Like obviously, there's a, been a lot of rappers that's died. A lot of rappers that like have to go out with hella security because it's not safe. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you ever think about like I don't know, like being in certain places and people like knowing your face or whatnot? Do you ever think about that? Like, right, if I get to a certain point, how I'm, I'm gonna have to move and whatnot? I th- yeah, in a sense of yeah, I do think about at a certain level. You do have to move s- differently. Yeah. But I feel like I've kind of always moved like that anyway. Just from my background and what I've involved myself in in my, in my past, mm. I've always been conscious of my surroundings. So it's nothing new to be alert mm. and to be like, and, and like I said, I'm never the type of person to feel like to get super comfortable. I like living in uncomfortable situations. So I'm just naturally always alert. alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I feel like it would just be another level of, getting other people to be alert around me mm. at that point that's it really no i hear you because you you hear stories man and even bro i'm talking about america but even over here like there's been like stories where like rappers you know what i'm saying they get targeted bro like, even at like award shows and these chains, things bro where man you know just think man's gonna be calm and like people like obviously your music starts bubbling up and then people see you like i swear that's my man and then people like literally like People just want to try you because they've seen you, like, you know mm. what I'm saying, mm. on YouTube or on TV, whatever, rapping. And they want to test you, like, to see if you're really about like, you. what you're rapping yeah, man about. I think they know you, know you as well. Man, I think they actually know you. Or and they that. think, like, they've got enough information on you to know you, you know from your music. And it's like, fam, nowadays, I'm not saying everyone, not even saying you, but it's entertainment. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, man is making music to entertain. Man's, man's like, like, you're not swan at home. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, man is here to give people what they want. Yeah. So when I'm just walking the road and going to the shop to get my pint of milk, I'm not on. <laughs> not all the time, anyway. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm just calling. I'm just going from A to B. Yeah, but that's, but not, that's not what a lot of men hear, though. That's what and I'm in saying. in music, if you're rapping, like, all this was, yeah? Of course. And that's then what man I'm saying. see you... Like, if man's on that as well, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know I what I'm that. saying? I man that. might I try you. I hear that. So it happens still. It does still. It's techie. It's the techie. only difference is, like, over here, like, you're probably less likely to die because of it. Well, there's youths that have died as well, yeah, but yeah. you're less likely to die, I'd say. But, like, but bro, no like, youths are getting, you still get robbed and that. Yeah, for it's their stuff, You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's techy still, man. Can't be doing way too much. You gotta insure your jewels. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> insure your real. jewels. Fam. Outside is treacherous. For real. But yeah. Swan, you talked about like Kendrick and that, yeah. You see you see Kendrick's attire, yeah? <laughs> like if 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 I was if I was listening to I Kendrick and we're talking about rappers, man I wouldn't look at Kendrick as like one of them guys I would target. See how we're talking about like rappers getting targeted? 
Mm. Like if if a man seen Kendrick on the road, I don't know if he would like Touch target it, Kendrick. Boy, you know what I'm saying? Looking bummy. But he might he might target like. I don't even know what he dresses like. Right? These days. No, nah, not bummy. I'm just saying like the type of rapper he is. His hair. You know what I'm saying? But like if they see a Meek Mill, they might like. What is this? What he's smoke? wearing? Do you get what I'm saying? He's violating it. Yeah. What's your kind of this type of drip? <laughs> it. This type of drip. Like man's not gonna try Kendrick <laughs> looking like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he might. He looks like a crack. He might snuff man quickly <laughs> by accident. What's your vibe with it though? He with might. the like whole. Oh, hey, oh, oh wow. are you? Are you hey, this is what he's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Kendrick's on. Uh, that's comfy, Kenny. There, bro. You know <laughs> that's that that, that correct. Am I lying though? <laughs> man, I'm gonna see him. Man, I'm not gonna trouble him. Oh, the jacket looks. Dirty. Are you more of a? Are you are you on that? Are you are you more of a like? drip kind of rapper or you're more like laid back conscious kind of guy you know what i'm saying what are you saying apple watch or bust down <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm trying to ask hey bro it depends isn't it if i need to go jogging give me the apple watch, <laughs> the bust down ain't gonna help me count my, my bpm still. you get me so <laughs> feel me but you know what i mean it's definitely <laughs> i hear it yeah you gotta live life a bit man you know what i was thinking as well just because you see like you said like music provokes like an emotion and stuff that you heard yeah this is completely random but you see like do you ever watch films and get that emotions as well mm, yeah do you feel like films and music provoke like the same emotions do you know what i'm trying to say like i think it's man built the same way yeah because films are stories isn't it yeah and there's a way to tell a story i told him to watch a movie yeah, the other day i don't know if you've seen it it's called detroit yeah you seen it yeah i've seen it brother I swear to God, see that movie there? I'm even sweating thinking about it, fam. Yeah, it was mad still. Fam, see the emotion, man, head? Bro, I had football at 9 o'clock. I didn't sleep. Man stayed up until like 5.30. Swear. I was yeah, thinking about it. Thinking about it. And I played shit as well. <laughs> Super shit. That's I was, normal. I was, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have it personally, but... <laughs> it's calm anyway. He's on the bench on Sunday. Oh, oh I'm the manager. He's benched. Oh, damn. <laughs> but no, you see that movie, yeah? Fab, when I was watching I was thinking... This is techie. Like, the reason why I brought it up is just I'm thinking, you see how music can provoke emotion out of people, yeah? And yeah. you make music. Have you ever thought, like, you see that? You said that song is gives people good emotions, like the song that you were talking about, Newham. Mm. Have you ever thought, like, raw, could it be the other way? Could my, because obviously you're rapping, in it? So sometimes it will be a bit of your story. And it's your truth, so you're not making no music wrong. But have you ever thought, raw, if a man listens to this in a certain way, he could... You know, like that kid that played GTA and tried to kill his mum. You know, like that type of thing. Yeah, well, that's a mad thing. <laughs> it could provoke, it could yeah. provoke like, negative emotion. Do you ever think about that when you're making music? No. No. no I don't sure. I don't consciously think. Yeah. I kind of just try to let out however of course, your my experiences and my feelings into the mic. Yeah, I hear that. Um, yeah. No, I think that the subject is it's, it's, it's really complicated. Of course. It's hard to kind of because there's so many fours, there's so many against, there's so many. If I was a ra rapper, I wouldn't give two shits about that. I'm not gonna lie, but I just rap what I wanted. I that's don't rap, I can't that's, rap, but that's, that's literally it. Yeah, if I was a rapper, I'd definitely be thinking about no negative connotations. You do, you do have a, you do have a responsibility though to not lead, like especially. No, I don't. Like, I'm you, not no one to parent. No, you don't want to lead like young kids astray. I know a lot of a lot of artists yeah musicians in general they say like right i'm not a role model yeah i don't want to be a role model but unfortunately you are in it yeah people are and listening like, to you have to kind of wear not a role model but you have you have you have disciples yeah, you have a, you have, a duty, you have disciples you have disciples you have a duty of care and you don't want to be like mm -mm. you don't have a duty of care still what do you mean by duty of care by duty of care i mean that like people are so what like, about them people punk, are following what you. about them punk rockers that do a madness and talk some mad devil stuff and that. But that's if that's what their followers are on, then that's what their followers are on, isn't it? That's a good point. But I'm talking about like musicians who have like a younger audience ear who are like, I want to do what this guy's doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if like, like you seen the Travis Scott fans, how crazy they get, bro. Like if Travis Scott is, is talking about certain things, like his younger audience might be susceptible to that. Yeah. So he has a duty of care to like not lead them down a, do you get what I'm saying? I think, you know what it is for me? I think ugh, it's hard, man. Cause I'm an adult. <laughs> so I'm just going for me being an adult. I can kind of listen to music and know it's music. Yeah. So when I listen to like, f 
Flavio Foran, for example, yeah, I know he's not necessarily walking around going book bow like every day or M24. Like no man's not doing that every day and all the time. Do you yeah. get what I'm trying to say? But when I listen to the music, that's what I want to hear. So I think it's about you knowing what you're getting to listen to as well, or who you're listening to, because everyone caters for something different. No, I hear that. But I don't know, man. Like it's hard for man to make music and then also be like fuck, man's going to think about what emotion this might provoke out of said person. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's too much, bro. That's too much of burden on man's shoulders. <laughs> I'm just trying to release man's thing and express myself. Like, I'm not a rapper, I'm saying express myself firstly and go from there. I think like I mean? life in general, we, we live in a duality, innit? So mm. there's always a positive and there's a negative and we need both yeah. to really get a full picture of life. If we was just getting pure positive or pure negative, then there's a problem. But, Without the balance, we can't really understand what life truly is and actually move forward with it. It's a good point. So I do believe everyone, every artist has a right to express whichever side of the spectrum they choose to express it on. Mm. But um, what I want to do as well as an artist is make sure I give perspective. So I'm not going to necessarily make something that's purely one-sided on one spectrum of that duality. I'm going to make sure it's... I feel like the real realism of life is sits in the middle where you can give both perspectives mm. and that's when that's top. where I, that's why i, I kind of class the top tier artist spectrum is in the middle yeah, where yeah. you can give perspective who, who are you listening to right now then from the uk like what rappers what uk rappers are you messing with right now uh well I listen to everyone yeah i'm yeah. gonna lie I listen to everything man okay <laughs> no specific no specific yeah artists. i use the top 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 five go to, like you said, see how you said your gym, like you're in the car and it's driving home now. Who's your go to, like Ram? It's going to run his rhythms or their rhythms. I'm going to, a lot of the time, I'm playing my own stuff. Is <laughs> it? You're one of them guys. Yeah. Oh, say that. That's to, me. I do listen to it. No, no. <laughs> Is that me? I've never understood that, you know. I hear that, what? Because man made it already, innit? Man knows. Yeah, <laughs> like, man, man's, man's had the whole thing on loop. Yeah, like, yeah, man yeah, recorded it. Like, <laughs> What's it? No, when it's new, when it's new, I'll get it still. When it's new. I would That's run what I'm, it. I'm in the studio every day, so it's yeah, always something new. Always something new, yeah. <laughs> so I need I'd to listen it. back and make sure, okay, uh, let me rewrite that bar right there. Let me redo this All right, part. cool. Man's having a party tonight. <coughs> this is the scenario. Man's having a party tonight. Mm. Man's asking you to DJ five tunes or five artists quickly, like mix them in. Right, you can't pick yourself. Let me not be the yourself. DJ. Let me not be you the DJ. Can't, you can't truth say. You can't pick it's yourself. Run I, can, I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't I, pick it, yourself. It'll be a long day in the club. You feel me? A lot of and only. You can't pick yourself. You can't pick yourself. You can't. You I can't might pick throw yourself. one hus track, but it's going to be other sort of yeah. old man's in the studio <laughs> like, bro, I am cold. <laughs> <laughs> or even like, who would you want on a the track then? That's another question. Because you can't get yourself. With. Yeah, you can't get yourself on a track. Um, I want to I wanna track with all the newer man. Mm. I want to make that track like an album song where it's like, or whatever type of song where it's got all the newer man on it. Especially because I did the newer song. I do want it. Is that CB from newer? I don't know, bro. Yeah, he's from him. He is cold, but he's too diligent, fam. Man's not saying a bad word about him. He's, <laughs> he's diligent. <laughs> he's diligent. So he's the still. Newer man, yeah? Yeah. Okay. No, I feel you. Um, yeah. Central C, I want to definitely do something with. Yeah, he's cold still. He's going in right now. Yeah. Going in. Yeah. I like his latest. He just dropped something as well. I ain't heard it. That no leaks to him in that. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't heard it. Well, um, yeah, man. Um, really, I kind of want to get in the studio with as many as many people as possible. Yeah. You never really know until you're in the studio with mm. someone. Like a lot of people I've worked with, producers and stuff. You don't really know what's gonna come out of it. You can have an idea, but it's two people or two groups or a few people colliding energy or colliding thoughts and processes. You all have your own processes, mm. so. It's always a learning experience. Yeah, it's yeah. It's always something interesting to happen, and you never really know what's gonna come out until you know you start getting the ball rolling. It's like, okay, this is something special. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean, even with the the songs recently that that we've been doing, like we've got a song dropping this month, banking on me, um, and even that, it was like, you know, someone sent me something um, of the Lloyd's TSB advert. And this is not even a musician, but it was mm. still a collaboration in a way. Cause they sent me it, and I was like, "Wait, hold on, Lloyd's TSB." You know, um, do you know the um, dun, 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 for the journey? Do you remember the advert theme song? No. Lloyd's TSB. Dun, 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 What's that? Dun, the one with the horse? Dun, dun. No, it's with the cartoons and they're oh, on a the train. That's Lloyd's, bro. What's that? The one with the horse. Yeah, this what is Lloyd's as well. 
Exactly, man. Lloyd's Calm TSB. Down. Lloyd's TSB. They had an ad. The bank. Yeah. Yeah. Because that. Ha, 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 ha. Then I know Monzo. Don't listen to him, man. Go oh, on. Man's shit. not a Monzo guy. Don't <laughs> listen to this guy, bro. <laughs> yeah. But um, I heard that and I thought, let me sample that, innit? So me and TC threw it on a Joe beat. Um, and the whole concept of it is like about just, you know, people, my family, you know, my team. The song's called Banking On Me. Mm. So, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 like Lloyd's CSB, then it's Banking On Me. Yeah. And it's about people banking on me, you know, there's a lot. It's, it's, it's a great song. But um, even that, that kind of process, I would not have anticipated it. Mm. It was the spur of someone sending me something, something and yeah, me yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah. Duh, 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 duh. so it's the same with working just with other artists, other producers. You never really know Don't what's going to come out. Yeah, yeah, you can have an idea, but then someone's going to have a whole vision for that. Then someone else is going to have a whole vision. And then once you've collaborated and vision, it becomes an, its own thing. How do, you, how do you manoeuvre that where like, who, this is probably a toxic question, but who has the final say? Like you said, if you're working with your manager, DJ, producer, and it's like, right, everyone's got 20%, let's say this five people room, everyone's got 20% a different thing. How do you manoeuvre that? Is it, fuck that man, man ain't gonna put that song out then because no one's really feeling it. Or is it, ah, fuck it man, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I think. Like intuition type of thing. We my team we all have a good understanding of each other Do you know so we kind of know what we're aiming for yeah, with yeah. everything so once it hits us reaches a certain level then we, we kind of automatically instinctively know we're all happy with it yeah, yeah i get what you mean it's kind of like that you know what i mean if we work on things until it hits that level um yeah i got friends i got a few friends as well that i send stuff to as well like a few of my brothers i got nathan um zach you know um couple other the, of, of my friends that I send stuff to, get opinions on, mm. and they, they, they're not related to me, you know, Zach's a baller. You know what I mean? Shout out to Zach, man. My brother's doing well right now, man. Shout out to you, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'd send it to other people just to get them other takes as well. Yeah. And they might even hear something that even my, my maybe my producers or someone else doesn't even hear. So yeah, it's like, it's just a mad process, man. 